Hello guys and welcome back to another pretty interesting video here on this channel. Now today, we're going to be taking a look at how you can restore yellowed plastics from pretty much any old game console or any old PC or you know any old computer or anything like that back to normal. And if you've owned any of these old uh, pieces of electronics, you'll know that over time they tend to get really yellow. And the reason for this is due to the exposure of UV light or ultraviolet light. And basically, if they are um, overexposed to the sun or any other form of UV light, they will tend to get really yellow. And, you know, for years, people thought that this was uh, a permanent thing, that there was no way of undoing this process. But a few years ago, uh, around 2008, a few people actually discovered how you can fix it and they formed what is called the retro bright project and it's basically a guide that shows you how to make this chemical mixture where you can use this mixture to uh, apply it to any abs type plastic and you can basically undo uh, this whole yellowing process and i'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video um, I'm going to be doing this uh, with a Super Nintendo Entertainment System that I have here, um, and which is all yellow uh, on the bottom part um, of the plastic, but you can of course take this guide uh, and adapt it to using it with any other form uh, of you know ABS plastic that you have. Um, so I will show you uh, the Retrobrite website here, it's, it's uh, actually uh, a pretty basic website and it actually just tells you how to actually make this chemical mixture. This is not something that you can go out and buy in a store. You're going to have to make it yourself using a few household products. Um, but there is an easier way to do this and I would like to thank the iBook guy here on YouTube for showing me and uh, kind of um, inspiring me uh, to make this video. Um, he actually found out that you can use um, this stuff called Salon Care Cream. And uh, essentially, as he puts it, uh, this is Retrobrite in a bottle that you that is sold in the stores, uh, but is branded as something completely different. So I'm also going to have uh, a link down below to where you can buy this online, to where if you want uh, to not go through the hassle of uh, making this whole chemical mixture, you can just buy this uh, sort of pre-made chemical mixture. Um, and it basically has the same exact effect. However, if you do go the route of making it on your own, I will have to warn you uh, to be very careful uh, with using hydrogen peroxide as it can burn you and it can blind you if you're not very careful with it. So I just want to, uh, you know, kind of, you know, warn you about that. Um, and I would uh, kind of recommend to go the route of, of just buying uh, this uh, salon care cream stuff as it works pretty much the same. Um, so with all that out of the way, let's just get right into it. So the first thing we're going to have to do, obviously, is disassemble the Super Nintendo Entertainment System that I have here. So to do that, we're going to have to get uh, a special tool bit because Nintendo, obviously, when they made this, they don't want people uh, just, just like opening this up and I guess seeing how they actually made uh, this whole console from scratch. So they uh, built their own special uh, security bit to where you would have to buy uh, a whole special tool to get into the console. So I bought one of these uh, off of eBay for uh, around $5. And that's what you have to use to take off the four bottom screws on uh, the console here. And so once you do that, the whole bottom just basically comes off pretty easily and you get to the inside of the console. And I also just kind of want to show you here, you can see uh, that the whole top plastic piece is not really yellow at all, even uh, on the inside. And I just I kind of show you here uh, how the eject mechanism works, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that whole piece is uh, basically looking normal. Um, but uh, the, the one that doesn't look normal is the bottom piece. So basically, we're going to have to take out uh, the entire system's motherboard, basically everything on the inside, and pull it out to where we can uh, take the bottom plastic piece 
and uh, apply this salon care cream to it and then put it into the sun so basically it's uh, a pretty simple process at least it's going to look pretty simple here on this video but it's going to take um, a pretty good deal of your time if you actually want uh, to disassemble this whole thing. So you can see here that I actually pulled out uh, the SHVC sound and I'm guessing this has to do uh, with the you know a, a sort of sound processor uh, that the uh, uh, Super Nintendo has and you actually have to pull this out uh, of the actual motherboard um, to take apart uh, the rest of the console as there are actually uh, a few screws hidden under this. So uh, this is basically um, pretty easy to, to get out. You just have to pull um, on this out uh, uh, from the motherboard. Uh, you'll see if you actually do it yourself, this is uh, probably uh, one of the easier parts. Um, but I just thought that was pretty cool uh, to show on video. And you see here uh, that it is copyrighted 1990 Nintendo Company Limited. So, uh, and that is, as you can see, uh, I'm putting it back in here right now. And that's basically uh, where it normally is. So you, you just have to pull that out. And there are, as I said, uh, a few hidden screws under there that you have to um, unscrew uh, with a standard Phillips screwdriver. By the way, all of these um, uh, screws under here that are not on the case are normal Phillips screws. So you don't have to buy like any extra type of screwdriver to, to like unscrew those. So once you get the whole thing off, you just want to basically lift the whole uh, like motherboard piece out. Um, it should come out pretty easily. If not, you want to make sure that you haven't like left any screws in. Um, and then there are these two little square bracket looking things. And those actually uh, are, I guess you would call them like, I guess you would call them like washers or whatever. But those go uh, in the bottom, so you, or in, in the very bottom of the, of the console. So uh, when you reassemble this, you want to make sure that you put those back in first. So here's uh, the console's motherboard. Yeah, so that's basically how uh, the whole system works. What you want to do now is once you get the whole thing taken apart, all you have to do is um, take whatever piece. Now, for me, uh, it was the bottom piece uh, of the Super Nintendo. Now, if yours was uh, like the top piece, you don't have to deal with taking apart the whole system. But since I had to uh, use the bottom piece, what you want to do is put it in some form uh, of uh, like a Tupperware bowl or you know some kind and you want to get ready to apply the uh, either your own Retrobrite mixture or the salon care cream to it and I did this uh, in my garage so that's why that, that it, it, the, the, the whole filming setup kind of looks a, a little bit different so you just want to kind of do this in a place that you don't care if like uh, the cream splashes anywhere as, as it may do that um, but basically you just want to, um, I would also recommend wearing gloves as well as, as you're going to have to spread this around the console. So once you have the whole console covered in the salon care cream or uh, your own Retrobrite mixture, you're going to want to take some plastic wrap and cover the console in that. Now the purpose of this wrap is to uh, prevent the salon care cream from evaporating as it will do that if you don't put this over it. So you want to make sure that you cover uh, the entire console or uh, whatever ABS plastic that you're using. You want to make sure that you cover it uh, in this plastic wrap so that this stuff doesn't evaporate. As, it, as if it does, you're probably not going to see um, a very good effect. And then you just want to leave it out uh, in either your own indoor UV light um, or as I figured out, you can just uh, use the sun as that is uh, the world's biggest UV light. And you can just, you know, kind of put it out there. I just I kind of left it outside. The only problem with using the sun is that you can't leave it uh, exposed to the UV light uh, for an extended period of time. As if you had your own UV light, you could, like, leave it under there constantly uh, for, like, you know, five days if you wanted to and not move it at all. But the sun, 
doesn't stay out for five days straight it, it would obviously you know turn to nighttime and there wouldn't be the sun in the sky anymore so you would have to then bring the console in and you want to make sure that you still get enough exposure to the UV light I actually left mine out in the sun for about two weeks and you're gonna see at the end what kind of uh, results that that produced it would probably be better if you had your own UV light indoors to do that um, but I didn't have one of those and I, I actually couldn't find one to purchase um, but if you have your own uh, or if you you know have the money uh, to purchase one I would recommend doing that but you can always use uh, the Sun outside if you wanted to basically you just want to put it under whatever form of UV light that you choose and just let chemistry work its magic and when you come back you just want to wash the console off as you see here I'm just kind of washing it off in my sink you want to get the, the, the entire thing dry and you want to see how it looks compared to the uh, uh, original yellowed version of, of the console as you can see here um, it looks way better than uh, the completely yellowed version before but it still looks a little bit yellow you know there's still uh, a slight tint to it being yellow especially uh, on the bottom because the bottom didn't get uh, exposed to the Sun very well so what I uh, decided to do is actually put a whole nother coat of this on it um, and, and you don't have I mean you don't have to do this uh, you can just do one coat if you want to I just wanted to put a uh, um, another coat specifically on the bottom uh, so that the bottom would be uh, exposed to the Sun and um, also get uh, reversed as well so I put up a, um, a whole nother coat um, of this salon care cream on the bottom and put it out in, uh, in the Sun again and after I did that uh, the results were pretty obvious it looked way different than it did compared to uh, the yellowed version as you can see here um, the only problem that I noticed is that uh, after washing this thing constantly uh, there was one Nintendo sticker on the back uh, the one that like has uh, their 1-800 number that actually uh, kind of almost fell off because like I was washing it so much so if that if that's like gonna bother you I wouldn't really like uh, recommend putting it under water um, but for me it's a pretty fair trade-off having it looking like it is brand new now um, as opposed to it looking uh, completely yellow so now obviously what we have to do is uh, reassemble the whole console Once you do that, it's it's pretty simple. You just uh, you know put the top piece back on, and you can see here. I just I also kind of want uh, to demo this as well. Um, there was this one plastic piece, as you probably saw in the beginning of the video, that didn't get affected by the ultraviolet light, um, and you can see here that now it looks way better. Like it sort of blends in way better uh, with the new um, reversed plastic than it did uh, with the yellow plastic obviously so yeah that is uh, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System fully uh, fully disassembled with the retrobrite procedure done done on it and then reassembled and let's just see if the thing actually works so I just decided to uh, uh, plug it in uh, to my TV here um, and we put in uh, a copy of Super Mario Kart uh, which, is, which is actually the only game that I have for the system and it, yeah it actually worked as, as you're gonna see here the the game worked perfectly fine so you know I didn't break the console as I was taking it apart um, so yeah I mean that is that is basically it I mean that is it, it's a very cool procedure that yes you can actually do this you can actually take um, any old ABS plastic um, and you can make it look new again as you know most of these plastics they look 
really ugly over the years as they just get really yellow and I I know I don't really like that so I'm, I'm sure most people don't really like uh, their you know old uh, like game consoles looking that way so uh, yeah I would definitely recommend that like if you guys want to make your old consoles or your old PCs look ten times better uh, definitely you know d d uh, do this whole procedure it won't take that much time um, and you know the time that it does take it's definitely worth it um, you know because because you, you're gonna get uh, a product that looks pretty much like it did on day one when you bought it so yeah guys that is pretty much gonna be it for this video again I do want to thank the iBook guy uh, for giving me the idea of using uh, that salon care cream um, as that pretty much made this whole video a lot easier than like having to mix um, all those different chemicals together um, but again you can go uh, that whole route if you want to and guys if this helped you in any way definitely be sure to, uh, to like and subscribe uh, to the channel for more videos like this and yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video